examiner, Robert Kirchner, to get to the bottom of this whole mess. Every single piece of aquarium glass is collected, from the hotel lobby to the street. Bonten and Kirchner start examining the shards. Each piece is photographed, numbered, and sorted by size. The aqua dome is not reassembled, but rather unrolled and laid out on the floor in a warehouse in Brandenburg. They reconstruct where each shard was in the aqua dome. With this technique, they may be able to find out where the damage began. A gigantic 700-piece puzzle emerges. It occupies an area of 578 square meters and weighs a total of 90 tons. Every professional puzzler knows that you should start with the edges. The experts do the same. They identify the edge pieces mostly based on their thickness. The cylinder wall is thicker at the bottom edge than at the top. This allows them to slowly figure out where each shard once was. This puzzle takes months. Some glass fragments are even examined under a microscope and chemically analyzed. In October 2023, expert Kishan Banten presents their final results. They have three possible hypotheses for the damage. When the Aquadome was built in 2002, the aquarium was not transported in one piece. The American company, Reynolds Polymer Technology, was hired to build the acrylic tubes. Nobody in Germany has the technology. Fifteen acrylic panels were manufactured in Colorado and brought to Germany. It was an incredibly complex construction project. Pull it, Willem! Swing right a little bit. Yeah, you swing right now. Okay, now. Down, 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 stop! In the future lobby of the hotel, the individual parts were then carefully connected and glued together. How exactly they put the acrylic panels together without visible seams remains a company secret. Then the acrylic is meticulously polished for weeks. As a result, the view of the fish is as clear as looking out your window of your office. After months of work, the construction is finally finished. One million liters of salt water are filled into the aquarium, and only a short time later, the first inhabitants are allowed to move in. The aquadome is completed. It becomes a popular attraction. Sometimes there are even guided tours. We are now standing in the world's greatest freestanding tank, and the only one with an elevator. The most famous fish in this tank is the small blue fish with a yellow tail fin. This fish is known by almost every child in the world of story from the movie Finding Nemo. It's the petted surgeon fish. But almost 20 years later, the aquadome is destroyed. It's possible that an adhesive seam came loose in December 2022. Such a huge aquarium, with all of its marine life, naturally requires a lot of work and care. You need to make sure that the water is always at the ideal temperature for the tropical fish, that they're doing well and are being fed. Every day, 